A few years ago, I had the privilege of working with some amazing trans women who brought a legal challenge against cross-dressing. The law was struck down and removed from the books. But laws are only as successful as the changed attitudes around them. So during the case, we shared with journalists a document explaining why the language they were using, such as referring to persons by their dead names, was harmful. And it did create a shift towards more positive representation for trans people. This indicated that often when harmful stereotypes and abuse are in play, lack of information is the reason. I founded Tamake Feminists with the aim of providing vital information to women and girls, particularly in the area of safe and accessible sexual health and reproductive rights. Because I myself know the dangers of being ill-informed. I became a mother at 16. In fact, I was an extremely young mother in an abusive relationship with my child's father. There were many arguments, many fights, and many opportunities to leave, but everyone around me told me that this is just what men and women do. It wasn't until I had a belt wrapped around my throat that I realized this is not the way that things should be. And if I allowed it to continue, I might end up dead. Coming out of that took strength, but more importantly, it took education and community support. As my community of women's rights defenders grew, I became very interested in the way gaps in information had disempowered me, how they continue to disempower women and girls. We are not taught early about things like consent, or periods, or rape, because of shame and stigma. But lack of these conversations do not protect, it harms. <laughs> Tamake was born out of my desire to spread the information that I lacked. We are an intersectional feminist collective focused on public education and community development providing and supporting women's access to professional mental health services. We believe in the resilience of community and in our need to stand unified with women and girls that face harm. Crash lessons seems to be flashpoints which expose gender stereotypes and lead to abuses. Like Aguilar trans friends, I too have to fight to dress in accordance of my gender. We young people are taught in school and university to work hard toward our dream jobs family, and happy life. I was taught the same. I had a dream, I went to school, and I studied hard. But when the moment came to celebrate my achievements, the graduation ceremony, the university insisted that I dress as a boy. At that moment, I feel hopeless and humiliated. Why I studied like everyone, 
but my freedom and my salvation were taken from me. Twenty transgender friends and I decided to stand up for our rights. We created an online petition, and after a few days, the petition went viral, with 2,000 people calling for the regulation change. Then, just before the graduation ceremony, the university decided that transgender students could wear the costume of their chosen gender. We felt so happy breaking barrier for the next generation. <laughs> Thailand had a reputation as the paradise of LGBTQ+. But sadly, it's far from the truth. Young LGBTQ+ people are still subjected to discrimination at school and at the university, workplace, and forced to undergo conversion therapy against their will. There is a Gender Equality Act intended to prevent discrimination based on gender, but a UNDP report. Reveal a shocking lack of awareness of such laws. So, I found Young Pride Club, which helps LGBT youth leader to support gender equality at the university and at national level. We do it through youth leadership workshop and online education. We organize Youth Pride Thailand, the country's first. Pride organized by young LGBTQ plus people. <laughs> and recently, we and other youth leaders from the Rainbow Coalition for Marriage Equality, we march on the street across the country, and we petition online, gathering 300. Thousand six nature demanding that marriage, same-sex marriage, be legalized. <laughs> yes, I had a dream, but it has grown. Now it is a dream for all. Let me say this: lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender. Queer, non-binary, and plus people is the dream of full, equal, and meaningful participation in the society. Let us help to realize best dreams. Of LGBTQ+ equality and equality for women and girls, there is power in standing together. As my friend and mentor, and I would say, "You touch one, you touch all." Thank you. Thank you.